Oh, well, hello everyone. This is Peter Brown with a look at your weather for the upcoming weekend and for the beginning of next week. And I hope you all were thrilled with the idea that we missed that blizzard that absolutely crushed Washington and New York and many of their snow records as well. As you can see, as we start out the weekend, look at this. We're going to see temperatures above average again as we head to the end of January. Temperatures in the upper 30s. But again, look at our record high and record low. We're not going to really be close to either one of those in the next few days. So again, a fairly average pattern that we're in. And as you can see, as we get into next Thursday, look at this. Our average temperatures keep going up a little bit. It's very small right now, but still it's a step in the right direction for all those warm weather fans. But look at this. This is the best part. The days are getting much longer, and you can really notice it driving home and also going out early in the morning. The days are definitely heading towards that springtime feel. As we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going to be going on with the weather for the next couple of weeks, actually next couple of days. And as we move ahead, I'm going to show you this is going to be tomorrow. As we go into Friday and into the beginning of the weekend, there's going to be a storm out here southeast of Nantucket. And that's the thing about it. It's going to be southeast of Nantucket by several hundred miles, which means for us here in the Burlington area, Maybe a few flurries, maybe a few sprinkles tomorrow morning, but again, for snow lovers, unfortunately, no accumulating snow. As we get to the middle of next week, though, you can see this other storm that's down here in the southeast. That's going to be moving towards us with actually temperatures in the 50s. So again, snow lovers, we're going to miss out on snow. It's going to be a lot of heavy rain around here. And as we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about the temperature outlooks and the precip outlooks as we head into February. As you can see here from NOAA, they're predicting again, typical El Nino year, Cool weather in the south, but much warmer than above average temperatures here up in the Burlington area. And as we look at the precip, this is going to be something else that we know is it's typical of the El Nino year. As we go ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what they're expecting for us in terms of rain and snow. As you can see from this map, we are in an area where we may get some above average precipitation, but again, depending on if we're a little bit milder and maybe again, mostly in the form of rain. So it doesn't look like as of yet that there are any big blizzards or any big snowstorms, especially not like what we saw this time last year, that's for sure. As we move ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about the temperatures in the next seven days coming up, and I think you'll like them. Um, starting out tomorrow on Friday, it's going to be a little bit wet in the morning, kind of cool, a kind of cool and damp day, drying out in the afternoon with some sn snow flurries and raindrops in the morning. A little bit cooler on Saturday with some partly cloudy skies, but you can see here starting Sunday, we're seeing some warmets from the 40s into the 50s on Monday. Now, Tuesday, that is Groundhog Day, and hopefully Punxsutawney Phil will not see his shadow and that means for uh, those of us who like warm weather that means spring is around the corner for you snow lovers if he does see a shadow and it's a sunny day out that means six more weeks of winter but as you can see on tuesday it looks like winter's far away it's going to be in the 50s with rain and again cooling down actually pretty dramatically by thursday and actually looking ahead for the second week of february it might actually be quite a cold spell coming but in terms of big snowstorms, it doesn't look like there's really anything coming. So we have a much different situation than last year. And I hope you enjoy your weather and enjoy the mild temperatures coming up for next week.